the years. In fact, I think he rode the dam of this one, Cauldron. But anyway, this one, Brown Windsor, very much in form. His trainer, Nicky Henderson. Nick, Brown Windsor's favourite still, despite your views about the handicapping. Yes, I didn't think it was terribly fair. We, we thought we'd judged the, the, the run-up to the race neatly enough to avoid getting a penalty, but it appears that uh, handicapper disagreed with my views of the, the framing of the race. We got six pounds more than I think he ought to have. After yeah. the race had closed? Yes. <laughs> Despite that, do you think he's got a good chance? Well, it, it, the year, he, he should have gone novice chasing this year, but basically the horses were all a bit out of sorts around Christmas time, so we rather put him away and said, well, this is, would be his target. Um, my worry would be the ground. He's a good action horse. He has one in it. Um, he was a baby last year and he's an improving horse. I think he's got a good chance. Yeah. And Techno Crash would certainly like the ground. He is a horse. He had some great form in the spring. I have to admit, the handicapper was rather kind to him earlier in the year. I say thank you for that. Uh, he was let in very leanly at the beginning of the season. But he has actually gone up £30 since the beginning of the season. So that reflects his chances in a little way. But he, he won't mind the ground. He'd be, the, I'd be more confident about him on it. Thank you very much. Won't they? And in fact, it'll be three times if you count this first little uh, little spur. But anyway, it looks as if they're all anxious to go. The grey there is 31. That's Harbour Bazaar. Looks, looks to have a bit to find who's going to win this. Agathus is 6-1 to one favourite, 8-1 to one Brown Windsor. Bakewell Boy, 11-1. to one. Rowlandson's Jules is 12. They're coming in. So is Peter. Yes, they're under starters' orders. Looks like a first timer. And they're away. My Dominion, the first to show. My Dominion going on in the early stages from Mountain Crash, Royal Gossip, uh, quite close to them, and Harbour Bazaar, the grey, in third. Well, they jump the first, My Dominion, from Mountain Crash, then Harbour Bazaar over on the far side, Rapier Thrust right up there, just behind uh, Rapier Thrust, Royal Gossip. The back marker at the moment is Clochine. And it's My Dominion from Mountain Crash and Harbour Bazaar. Rapier Thrust comes next, just uh, behind Rapier Thrust is Minor Key. Going at quite a steady pace in the early stages, three miles and a furlong. And still My Dominion the leader. My Dominion with uh, Harbour Bazaar going up to dispute second on the outside, on the inside Mountain Crash, Rapier Thrust comes next, then Mount Key, and then Brown Windsor, then Emo Forever towards the outside, Agathist well up there too, and also Ruby Flight, this is Mountain Crash on the inside nearest to us of My Dominion, Rapier Thrust in third, the pink colours of Minor Key with on Minor Key's outside Harbour Bazaar and then Brown Windsor getting into the picture. Motivator behind him and then Agathist, then Emo Forever the Grey with the hood as they jump the third. Clochine still uh, the back marker of the 29 as they swing left-handed right over the far side of the course, Mountain Crash on the inside of My Dominion. These two practically disputed it so far throughout. With on the outside Harbour Bazaar and on the inside Rapier Thrust and between them Minor Key and then Brown Windsor. Then Motivator, Emo Forever. That was the fourth. Beginning to run downhill on the first circuit with still Mountain Crash on the inside of My Dominion. Then Rapier Thrust in third, Minor Key and Harbour Bazaar, and they're being followed by Brown Windsor and Motivator and Agathist. Ruby Flight getting a little bit closer to them too. Over the fifth, Ruby Flight come right up to join them. But closely grouped up front, My Dominion, Mountain Crash, Harbour Bazaar, Ruby Flight, Brown Windsor and Motivator and Rabia Thrust and Agathist and Go Far just in behind them over these six, the Bakewell Boy also. 
So swinging round into the straight on the first circuit. And it's Mountain Crash and My Dominion. These two from Minor Key and Harbour Bazaar and Brown Windsor over on the far rail with rapier thrust and these being followed by Emo Forever. And Agathist well there too. Really closely grouped as they set out on another full circuit. My Dominion, Mountain Crash, Minor Key, Harbour Bazaar, Rapier Thrust, Brown Windsor, Agathist, Emo Forever on the inside. Then these stripes of Ruby Flight. Celtic Time is uh, well with them too. And Clusheen is still 29th of the 29. As they run downhill, My Dominion in the lead. My Dominion from Mountain Crash on the inside. Minor key on the outer, rapier thrust going well, Agathist also, tracking Agathist as Emo forever, Brown Windsor going well on the inside. Over the eighth, Ruby Flight not far behind the leaders, and rapier thrust, and Mark Dwyer have taken it up now. Rapier thrust and Mark Dwyer from My Dominion, then Minor Key, behind Minor Key is Mountain Crash, then comes Agathist and Brown Windsor and Motivator and Emo Forever. The stripes there are Ruby Flight on the outside. And Pregada making quite good progress too. Over the ninth, Rapier Thrust carrying a penalty for his recent success has got about a three length advantage now. As they swing left handed and begin the race towards the fourth from home with Rapier Thrust clear of Minor Key in second. Then comes Ruby Flight and Pregada and Agathist and Animor's Daughter and Emo Forever on the inside. Four from home that. A slow jump there by Emo Forever who lost ground at that flight. Rapier thrust with the advantage from in second place Minor Key. Then comes Ruby Flight behind Ruby Flight making good progress, Pregada, then Animor's daughter, then Agathist, and then comes Emo Forever. They're racing down the hill now, and as they do so, it's Rapier Thrust being pressed by Minor Key, and making ground Pregada over on the far side, and the top weight, King's College boy, coming there too, also Motivator, over that one, Minor Key, Rapier Thrust giving way there. Minor Key has the advantage from Agathist, Pregada, King's College boy is still making ground, and Ruby Flight is coming right back into the picture. But it's Minor Key, two out with a fractional advantage on the inside. Minor Key with the lead over on the far side, Pregada. Ruby Flight jumps it well. Minor Key on the inside, Ruby Flight, Pregada. Then comes Animal's Daughter, and then comes Agathis. They're racing into the home turn now. And on the near, on the far side, it's Minor Key. On the near side, it's Pregada. Pregada on the near side, Minor Key on the far side. Ruby Flight between horses. Pregada's going to land in the lead. Pregada by a length in the lead at the final flight being pressed by Ruby Flight is Pregada racing up towards the line and another triumph for Josh Gifford coming up here is third at the meeting Pregada striding away from Minor Key and Ruby Flight as they come to the line Pregada wins it in tremendous style going to be second is Minor Key and third is Ruby Flight and fourth was Kona Glen and so the one two three four in the 15th running of the Coral Golden Final is first number 10 Pregada owned by Mrs. MGL McGlone and Mr. E.V. McGlone trained by Josh Gifford and written by Richard Rowe. Second was number 23 Minor Key owned by Mrs. David Clark trained by Simon Christian and written by Ronnie Began. and third was number 8 Ruby Flight owned by Mr. R.J. Eckley trained by Richard Eckley and written by Peter Skudamore, fourth was number 15, Kona Glen. So a third of the meeting for Josh Gifford puts him on the 69 mark, second at the festival for Richard Rowe, 47 of the season for him. Yes, isn't it marvellous for Josh now? Couldn't they a winner in 17 years? This is his third of the meeting. Coming down the hill, a whole host of horses from the left, right of the picture there, motivated just going backwards. Minor key with a big white face in the pink. This looked well in the paddock beforehand. 
and then Ruby Flight in the yellow colours and sheepskin noseband. And then on the uh, left of the picture, just disappearing now, is Pragada. He's on from four time, and as they come round this last bend, you can see that Pragada is the one that is starting to roll. They turn round, and they've got to face this hill for the third time in this race. Ruby Flight has run a super race there in the yellow, and on the left of the picture, in about fifth place, is the Bakewell boy. He's run a super race. Agathist is about fifth at the moment on the inside rail. But coming to the last, Richard Rowe going for some good ground, slightly wide there. Arson gets a good uh, jump. And then we've got Ruby Flight in the yellow and Minor Key, who's run a super race. These three all have really covered themselves in glory. Behind a whole host of horses, tiring in different degrees. But Pragada just starting to run a little way across, away from the huge crowd here at Cheltenham. But Richard Rowe gathers his reins there and starts to row him home up the hill. Josh Giffords, third winner of the National Hunt Festival so far. And I doubt whether there's any stopping him now that he has broken his duck and gone for some style. Rich Rowe just waving his whip in rhythm with the horse there to ensure that he doesn't stop on this third ascent of the Cheltenham Hill.